verses 21. I, Yahuwah, did not send these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesy. But if they have stood in my counsel, then they will have let my people hear my words, and they will have turned them from the evil way and from the evil of the deeds. On the eighth, the prophet who has a dream, let him relate the dream. And he who has my word, let him speak my word in truth. And this is something I'm going to speak to you in Yahushua name. To the many that I call to the few that will receive it. To receive it, you will need a listening with your spiritual ears and understand with your heart that Yahuwah has given you. Hallelujah. From the Nag Hammadi, the teachings of Savinas, it says, know who Yahushua is, know who Messiah is. Why do I say that? Because most will claim to know the Almighty, most who claim they have the Almighty. Most who say, I give all praises and honor and esteem to the Almighty. But it says, No, who Messiah is. Remember, yet we is not mock. Whatever we sow is what we will weep. It's why we will reap in harvest them. Know who Messiah is. Know who Messiah is and acquire him as a friend. For Yah is the true friend. Yah is also Alua, Almighty, and teacher, Rabia. Yah being divine, picking him for our sake. Hallelujah. So know who Messiah is. You will claim you know Messiah. You, you will claim you know the Almighty. With your mouth you will say, I give praises and honor and esteem to the Almighty. But when we read the scriptures, or you read yourself read the scripture, the part you used to give all esteem and barakah and honor and majesty to Messiah, you skip over it. Or oh, when I read it, you refuse to believe it. But the scripture says, Know who Messiah is. And let me read it again. They prove that Yah is Alua Almighty. And Yah is a divine. Yah became a human being for our sake. Know who Messiah is and acquire him as a friend. For Yah is the true friend. Yah is also Alua, Almighty One, and Teacher, Rabia. Yah being divine became Him for us, for your sake. Yah is the one who broke the underworld, iron's bar, and bruised. And browns and boots. Yah is the one who attacked and threw down every arrogant tyrant. The one who losing the bounds with which Yah was being held and brought up the poor from the abyss and the mourners or the criers from the underworld. The one who humbled the arrogant powers. The one who through humility put arrogance to shame, the one who through weakness threw down the scrum and the boasters, the one who through his shame scorned what 
is though to be honorable that humility for your sake might be highly exalted the one who put on humanity and is Allah Almighty the divine word the one who always bears patiently with humanity with humanity and wish to instill humanity in the other one hallelujah know who Messiah is Messiah is the true friend Yahushua is the true friend Yah is also the, a good teacher Yah is also Allah Almighty now let me read it from the other scriptures the way you say Nagamadi is the same thing I say in the sisters books But first let's read Proverbs chapter 1, 7. The reverence of Yahuwah is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and discipline. 3 verse 5. Trust in Yahuwah of all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Hallelujah. It's Yahuwah who will teach you. It's Yahuwah who will lead you. Is Yah who is our real teacher? Yah is our Alua Almighty. And I read a from Psalm 68, verses 4. Sing to Almighty Alua. Sing praises to His name. Raise up a highway for him who rise through the desert by his name Yah and is up before him Abba of the fatherless and the red ruler of, of widows is Alua in his quarters dwelling Hallelujah. Let me read that again. Psalm 68, verse 4. Sing to Allah Almighty. Sing praises to His name. Raise up a highway for Him who rise through the deserts by His name Yah and as up before Him. Abba of the fatherless, right ruler of the widows. Hallelujah. Yah is the Almighty. Yahushua is the Almighty. Know who Messiah is because you claim that you know Messiah. Look at the book of Yeremiah who Yeremiah who chapter 10 16 The portion of Yaku is not like them for Yah is the former of all things and yes we all is the right of his inheritance Yahuwah of hosts is his name now he's telling you yes we all the nation inheritance it's not like the other nations. For Yah is the form of all things. Yah created everything in the beginning. And Yahshua we all is the right of Yah inheritance. And he's also telling you that Yah name is Yahuwah of hosts. Hallelujah.
Isaiah chapter 46, verse 3. Yeah, the word says, Hearken unto me, O house of Yasserior, and all the remnant of the house of Yasserior, which are born by me from the belly, which I carry from the womb, even to the old age, I am Yah, and even to whose hairs what I carry you, all gray hair what I carry you, I have made, I will bear, if I will carry, and you will deliver you, and will deliver you. Verse 5, to whom will ye liken me, and make me equal, and compare me, that we may be like Quality over quantity. You can re re re, but the quality is when you come into understanding, you come into knowledge. Quality over quantity. You can speak, 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 but what you are speaking is true. It is the precept, the understanding that Yahweh gave you that is written. Quality over quantity. Many are called, few are chosen. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 1. He answered me and said, The most I made this world for the sake of many, for the world to come for the sake of few. So as many called few are chosen. But I will tell you a purple Ezra, just as when you ask the earth, it will tell you it provides very much clay from which earthen way is made, but only a little dust from which gold comes. So is the cause of the present world. Many have been created, but few will be saved. Hallelujah. And I read Isaiah chapter 46, verse 3 again. Hearken unto me, O house of Yaakov, and all the remnant of the house of Yasuri, all which are born by me from the belly, which I carry. From the womb, for the four, even to your old age, I am Yah, and even to your gray hair, I will carry you. I have made, and I will bear. If I will carry, and will deliver you. Hallelujah. Yahweh is Yah, our Almighty. Let's go back to the book of Psalm again. Psalm from the Hallelujah Scripture, from the Praise the Scriptures. When you ready kiss the sun, you will come into full knowledge of the sun. You will give all his time to the sun. And some of you I hear you say, I give all praises to the most high or esteem. But yet you read the scriptures that prove that Yah is the most high. Yah is Yahuwah. Yah is Yahushua. The Father and the Son are one, but you skip over that part. Remember, Yahuwah cannot be mocked. You you reap what you sow. And yet one knows that you worship him with your mouth, but your heart is far from him. So you one know all those things. 
So know who Mashia is. Know who Mashia is, where it is. Now you're to your own knowledge because you always say we can lean on our own knowledge. But it's Yah who teaches us. When you and that is Yah as everything, as you abide, your Messiah, your Savior, your Redeemer, your Teacher, your Rabbi, then Yah will lead you to the fullness, to the greatness of Yah. Hallelujah. Psalm 68. Verse 4, sing to Alua, Almighty One, sing praises to His name. Now you're going to tell you what His name is. Rest of the highway for Him who rides through the desert by His name, Yah, and exalt before Him. Now we'll go to Yesiah. Yesaya chapter 40, 28. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The everlasting Alua, Yahuwah, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither fin nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. Hallelujah. Yah gave power to the faint and to those who have no might, yeah, increase, increases strength. If the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men stumble and fall, but those who wait on Yahuwah renews their strength, they rise up the wings like the eagles, they run and are not weary, they walk. And do not faint. For the truth is it. I am Yahuwah, Yahu Hayah, that is my name. My esteem I do not give to another, nor my praise to others. For the three, verses 10, you are my witnesses, declares Yahuwah. And my servant, whom I who have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am Yah. Before me, no all form. Before me, there was no all form, no mighty one form. No, after me, there is. Verse 11 I, I am Yahuwah, Yahuwah, Yah. And beside me, there's no savior. Yah, Yah, Yah ya also save. That make Yah one according to the scriptures, according to Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Yahuwah is one. So know who Yah is. Know who Messiah is. Do not lean on your own understanding. Verse 11, I, I am Yahuwah, and beside me is no savior, but is Yahuwah who save. Good news of Philip from Nagamadi. Yahushua says, If a blind person and one who see above in darkness, they are the same. When the light comes, the one who can see will see the light, and the blind person will stay in darkness. Hallelujah. Go 
going down into the water. Yahushua says, anyone who goes down into the waters and come up without receiving anything and say, I am a believer, that person has borrowed the name. So that's very important. If you go in the water, you baptize in Yahushua name, and you don't have the rock, you don't have the anointing, you did not receive power, then you have borrowed the name. Let me read that again. Going down into the water. Anyone who goes down in the water and comes up without receiving anything and say, I am a believer, has borrowed the name. But the one who received the rock, Hakodesh, the setup of rock, has the name as a gift. A gift does not have to be paid back. But what is a borrow must be paid. This is how it is with us. When one of us experience a mystery. Hallelujah. And this is why Yahushua says, search all spirits. Test all spirits. Because now we have the rock so we can test everybody. Because he always says that people worship him with the mouth. They will say hallelujah. They will say I give all esteem, barakah, and honor to the almighty. But these are the same people that, that fail to realize who the almighty really is. These are the same people that do not really give esteem to the almighty. They just do it with a mouth to be seen. It's like lip services. Lip service. And you always see all those things. So make sure you seek, you search the scripture for yourself. Study to show yourself a proof unto Yahushua. Know who Messiah already is. news of Philip he said Messiah has everything and when you acknowledge Yahushua has everything you will have everything you have wisdom and understanding which will make you stable you have zeal according to knowledge you have wisdom and understanding you will have mysteries you will go through the mysteries you receive revelation and mysteries when you acknowledge Yahushua as everything. It says, Messiah has everything. Messiah has everything within himself. Whether he may, or an angel, a messenger, or a malak, or mystery, and the Abba, the Father, which precept of Yahuna chapter 10 30. Yahuwah chapter 10, 10 30. That's the from 28. And I gave unto them eternal heart, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Abba, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Abba hand. For his thirty, in conclusion, to what we read, this is the understanding, the whole understanding, to close everything up. Yahushua says, I am Abba, I am one. And the Yahudim took up stones again to stone him. Then the Yahudim took up stones again to stone him. Yahushua answered them, Many good works have I shown you. For my Abba, for which of these work do ye stone me? The, Yahudu, the Yahudim answered him, saying, For the good work 
we st we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because thou being a man, makest thou make thyself a lower. Hallelujah. Now, what's the understanding? Who is wise in Yeshua we are to declare the understanding of Yahuwah? Who is in do with wisdom from Yahuwah? Let me read again. Yahuwah chapter 10. And now we're going to start from 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. So this is how we're going to know who we rather believe in Yahushua because I am reading the scripture to you clearly and plainly. Those that believe are those that Messiah chose to believe. Those are those Yahushua sheep. 26. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I, Yahushua, know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal heart, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Abba, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of the, out of my Abba hand. I and my Abba are one. Yahushua talking about his sheep, that those that actually believe are his sheep, and the sheep, they hear and they believe the word of that shepherd. And the whole scripture is written about Yahushua, our shepherd. So everything in the scriptures applies to Yahushua, our shepherd. When he said the Abba, Yahushua is our Abba and our shepherd. When he said the Ben, Yahushua is the Ben. And our shepherd and our savior and our almighty. But those that do not believe are not his sheep. And I give them eternal heart, and they shall never perish, nor shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Abba, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Abba hand. And now Yahushua goes on by saying, I am Abba one. So, May she give a steam to the Abba, to the great name. And Yahushua says that his sheep that the Abba has given him, no one can plug them out of his Abba hands. And then Yahushua says they cannot plug them out of his hands. And then Yahushua says that the Abba, he is the Abba. And that's when the people took up stones. To try to steal the Messiah. And then Yahushua says, I am Abba one. Then the Yahudim took up stones again to stone him. Yahushua answered them. Now listen to what the Messiah say. What Yahushua, our Messiah, our Almighty, our Savior, our Redeemer say. Yahushua answered them, Many good works have I showed you from the Abba. For which of those work do ye stone me? The Yahudim answer him, saying, For the good work we stood thee not, but for blasphemy. And because thou being a man, makest thou makest thou self a lure almighty. Yahushua answered them, Isn't it written in your law? I say ye are mighty ones so now Yahushua said that we are mighty ones now I go back to the Old Testament that Yahuwah says we are mighty ones because Yahuwah said that but now Yahushua says it's in the written that I said that so now you come to know that Yah is the almighty according to Psalm 68 verses 4 that Yah is the name of the almighty Yahushua is the almighty that was manifested Yahushua is Yahuwah. There are not two. There's one to know in heaven. You re re. Now you come in the knowledge today.
the good to sound. I say ye are mighty ones. Ye, ye are Elohim. Because the word Elohim or Elohim it means mighty ones. Malak is a word for messenger. Or you say injure. An injure is a Malak, a messenger. More than one is Malakim. So there's Malak one. Malakim, more than one. Aluwa is one. Yehua is one. But Yehua created the Elohim, the mighty ones. Hallelujah. And we will be mighty ones, we will be Elohim. But Yehua is our Aluwa, almighty one. And I say, ye are mighty ones, Elohim. Ye are all sons. Of the most high and now that go back to psalm that it says sing to the most high psalm 64 psalm 68 verse 4 sing to alua almighty sing praises to his name we raise up a highway for him who rides through the desert by his name Yah. Yah is our Almighty. Yah is our Creator, our Almighty, our Redeemer. Yahushua is our Almighty, our Redeemer, our Abba, our Rabia, our Savior, our Alua, Almighty One. Hallelujah.